Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we'd like to go forward with our uh, Yang Cheng Fu 13 Original Postures. Uh, but first, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, Wood Chi and expansion and contraction in, uh, in a Taiji form and how those how those relate. Because uh, well, it, it's on my mind because lately I've, I've realized that, oh, I've been really getting into this wood chi and it's really been great, but it was a little too much. So as you know, I've been, since it's springtime, it's governed by the element of wood, which is this up and out as expansive kind of energy. It's, it's going from the yin of winter into the yang of summer. And there's, it's, it's kind of characteristic of the, the daffodils pushing up to the snow and, and trees, you know, bursting forth into, into foliage and and it um, it's a very expansive kind of uh, kind of energy and it feels great. So I was you know feeling really feeling my wood chi and getting lots of stuff done and really feeling uh, energized from that. And uh, but there is a downside to that, which is like I also started noticing that you know I wasn't able to sleep past four or five in the morning and and no matter how late I went to bed and you know it was the energy was I, I get these signals from my pre-conscious mind as said come on Rick let's get up the wood chi was just calling me giving me a reveille and uh, it's still dark out but it it wants to get up and play and um, uh, so this is uh, and also with it I, I got this kind of lightheadedness and you know my the all my chi went up into my upper dantian and up here in the uh and the uh you know the third eye region is like you know feeling really uh kind of lightheaded because of the so much of this yang chi now yang chi is the the chi of the heavens and it's uh, it's ex it's the expansive creative force and it's moving moving toward bigger and bigger and moving away from form and into and to openness and into emptiness. And the yin chi is characteristic of the earth, and that is moving toward form, getting more and more condensed. So we have this expansion of the yang and the contraction of the yin. And these two work, they're partners. And there's like, they move like a bellows. You're, there's an expansion and contraction, and that's what pumps the energy. That's what makes, that's what circulates the chi and makes things makes things interesting. Um, if you just go one direction, it it's like a balloon. You keep expanding, expanding, expanding. And eventually the form, which is that envelope, that latex envelope that, that is is the balloon, it uh, it can't handle it anymore and it it pops. So uh, you want to find the appropriate amount of energy and the, the kind of energy that is suitable for who you are right now. And so you'll fill up and then empty out and fill up and empty out. And that is a really important part of this whole process, the ability to, to get rid of the energy. Because once energy has been used, it becomes entropy. That is, it's, uh, the, it can't be reused. So we... We, we take it in, but we, we need to also discharge it. And so that they're equal parts of the, uh, of the equation. So we have this pulsing between the, the, the expansiveness of yang, the contraction of yin, and we want to be able to tap into that. So with the wood chi, you know, we've been doing it, you know, we got the fingernails and we uh, feeling the sinews and, and the liver and, and everything's kind of getting very charged up, which is fabulous. But we also want to have tools, should you run into a situation like I did, which is too much, let's back it off a notch, Rick. Um, we want to be able to go into the element that controls the wood, and that would be metal. And metal is, you know, so I got you know, your, your metal, you got like a boom, it just it just wants to drop down. And it's 
it sinks so that the um, the energy of sung is metal it's it's you're releasing down you're getting very yin you're contracting into your form whenever you are whenever you are in in sung and uh uh but we don't want to keep going the metal keeps on going so that's where we also include earth so earth has kind of a paradoxical thing here earth is like uh, in the broadest sense earth contains all the elements all the five elements it's it combined sort of like uh all the colors combine into one into white right and they they become that that the white includes all of them but earth is like that it, can, it uh, is consists of, of of all the elements blended in there into into one but it's also seen as earth chi in itself is is the most yin of the uh, of the qualities that uh, and the I Ching, the oldest uh, uh, book talking about it, the first time where these things became really written about, you know, yin and yang, where you know it was Kun was the uh, is the symbol for earth, is the hexagram for earth, and it is the most yin of all the of all the hexagrams, and so it's it's what we move more and more into absolute form whenever we do that. So there's this this. And then Chen is the uh, is the Yang impulse, and that's the that Yang expansion. It's the creative. So the the uh, Kun is the receptive, and and the uh, uh, Chen is the creative. So we're going to do a little Qigong here to nurture our capacity to move into a very Yin state. And it doesn't matter what season you're in, being able to get sung, be able to get into that very yin state is an important skill to have. And it, it helps to control the other elements and, and creates that bellows effect that I was talking about before, where you're able to, ah, you're going into a contraction, which then allows you to, to move into your expansion with renewed vigor. And... Um, so um, before uh, before we get up, uh, any questions or thoughts on what I just said? Any uh, everybody good? We're all good. Okay. So let's uh, why don't you stand up, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do some some yin stuff. Okay, so let's get your three pillars in. And usually I have you get to the balls of your feet. Today I want you to get into, into your heels. I want you really, we're going to emphasize the yin directly. So you feel it into your heels, unlock your knees, and you're going to still find your central equilibrium, but rather in the balls of the feet, which gives us more of that young, expansive energy. We're going into the heels and get more into the yin contractive one. The energy is going down, down into the earth. So feel yourself sinking down into that. And you're still reaching with the crown of your head because this establishes the two poles in your body. But, you know, 90%, 80, 90% of the energy is going down. It's going into the yin. Uh, tuck in the chin, open up the jade pillow gate, and open up your qua, get sung qua, reach with your elbows, and, and point your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence. Now step out with your left foot, sink into your heels, With each breath, find yourself sinking a little deeper into the earth. Feel the attraction of the earth. 
not just on your feet, but your whole body feels that attraction. And there's still that deliberate reaching with the crown to lengthen the spine, open up the jade pillow gate, but everything else is really dropping down, down, down your, you know, each breath allows you to feel that metal, the holding down. And the metal only goes so far because we have earth there to establish the form. Earth keeps it from collapsing into a puddle on the floor. And feel yourself just kind of intentionally pushing away from you as if you want to fly. You're going to push away from the earth. You want to fly, but then, oh, I cannot. And then you sink back down and release down even deeper. And the release is internal. It's not your, you're not bending your knees and going, you know, pushing them out. The, the release happens inside. It's an internal process. It's sung. Feel the heaviness of your arms. Feel the metal in your arms. But uh, somehow you get them up to about waist high. You reach out and feeling that density in your arms. Pull it, the, feel the earth pulling them down. It really, really wants those arms to be back down. But you're using the least amount of of force you can to to maintain your position. You want to establish some earth there that creates the form and allows that, but the metal is still the loudest voice in the room. It's pulling down, down, down. And you're breathing, breathe deep into your into your belly. So the, you're gonna feel this in your lower Dantian. Down here below the navel. Each breath, feel your feel it pressing down on your lower dantian. In each breath, find yourself releasing a little bit more. Think into your left leg, feel the left heel, set the left knee, and release the left quad, get very sung qua, use your yao to turn, and reach out very gently with your right hand as you step forward a little bit with your right foot. But when you're stepping forward, feel the, feel the earth is grabbing your foot, pulling you down. It's like it's sticky. The floor is sticky and you're, uh, you have to kind of really, oh, you're reaching and oh, then it goes back down and it's like magnets on your feet are pulling you down. And uh, take a break here. Just kind of release into this and just feel into the, the, the sung in this posture, the, the very, very yin, the, the heaviness of the metal. You'll sink into your right foot. You release your right claw, you're spiraling down using your, your yao and oh, you're gonna pick up that left, that left foot, but it really doesn't wanna go. It just, it's, it's really sticky and then oh, you break free and then you reach out and reach out with your left hand. Into your left, barrel down, and feel that heaviness of that right foot. You're 
feel that attraction. You're lifting it up and stepping out with your right foot and your right hand. Feel the heaviness of your arms. Take your right, spiral down to the right. Feel that heaviness of that left leg. Feel the attraction of the earth and step out and reach out with your left hand. Place the tip of your tongue and the roof of your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Feel the your lower dantian filling and emptying. Now step forward with your right foot. Feel that heaviness that stickiness and step forward. Ah. And find yourself sinking, sinking into this posture. Feel the metal pulling down. Feel the earth giving it some shape. Sink, rotate, palms down. Feel your hands being attracted by the earth. Feel the density. Feel reaching with the crown of your head. Breathing into the Dantian, the lower Dantian. Step in. Take a deep breath, arms come up. Feel the heaviness. Exhale and disappear. All the chi, just let it go down, disappear it. Dissolve. Okay, so now let's uh, let's do the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. We'll go through the whole form. I know we haven't done every movement in detail and that's okay. We've gotten, you know, three quarters done. And uh, just follow along if you're just, you're checking this out on YouTube and uh, just follow along as best you can. The important thing is feeling the chi, feeling the energy, feeling that the, we want to do it with um, the same quality of energy here, the yin metal feeling. And so even though the postures are big and expensive, there's a softness there and a, and a, a 
deep, deep sung or relaxation into the form, into the structure as we're doing it. It'll be a nice and slow movement. And uh, if we have time, we'll go and we'll uh, take a look at uh, some of the next moves too. But let's go through this. Uh, let's go through it once and uh, just really get the, get the feeling of it uh, with this quality to it. Okay, so I'm going to turn my back to you. Just follow along. Ready to take a moment and feel into that. You want to have that same quality of energy and begin. Feel the heaviness in your arms. Feel the stickiness of your feet.
Okay, so let's pick it up um, from um, the turnaround where we're we're in this posture here. Let's 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 take a look at this in some detail. So we're emphasizing the yao and the qua. You know the yao being that the part the sacrum coccyx lower part of your spine which turns that's the yang part that turns the body and the qua is the negative the or the yin part it it it's the space that you're moving into that allows that freedom of movement so we're consciously relaxing getting sung in the qua while we're also turning from the yao so these two together form the yin and the yang of that that turn of the of the pelvis. So it uh, we want to have that sense of that the pelvis being the the thing that turns and the body the shoulders the torso follow the that turn of the pelvis. So we're uh, we're here. Reaching up with the left hand, reaching, pushing down with the right, very soft, sinking. So we're still keeping that very yin aspect that we just have been cultivating here for the, for the last half hour. And so we're going to feel the heel of the left foot and set the left knee and spiral down to the left. So we're releasing the left claw and spiraling down and turning from the yao and the right hand comes up it turns into a fist the right foot steps in we just pause a moment and just feel into that and then reach with your elbow step out with your the heel of your right foot set that and again this with this kind of feel that stickiness is like oh you're right foot oh yeah that's it, it breaks free and establishes a new position and then you turn your yao turns and it and you set that right elbow and the right fist comes down that very soft fist your left hand touches the forearm of the right and then you sink in that left heel and set the left knee. Use your yao to turn. And as you turn, your left hand circles up and reaches out. And your body turns. You reach back with your right elbow. This is what we are covering last week. So we're not going to go too deep into it again. And then you feel the heel of the right. Set your right knee and... Then you're turning from the yao and reach forward with the fist. And so you have the, the, the fingers of the left hand are on the wrist of the, of the right. So moving forward from here, we're going to feel the, uh, we're going to pivot on the heel of the left foot and turn the left foot out and feel the ball or feel the heel of the left foot, set the left knee, and left hand comes down, the right hand stays out. So you'll notice you're in this transitional posture here, where you're primarily in your left leg. Your right hand is reaching out, feeling that heaviness. Left hand is under the lower dantian, sort of allowing us to remember that we want to breathe into our lower dantian here and feel and feel that so that the chi is sinking down deep, allowing it to connect up with the with the earth. And the continue our transition with the left hand reaching up, step in with the right foot. And the right hand opens, comes down, and ah, you turn, reach up. Right hand turns into a fist. 
and reach with the elbow. Step with the right foot. Ah, feel that. Set the knee spiral down to the left. Your roots sinking into that the right leg as you do this. You're nice and relaxed, very, very sung and turn. As you turn, you set that right elbow and the, the right form just comes down like that with the palm facing up. And we have strike with back fists. Uh, again, we have to, so this is the second time through that. And now we're going to Feel the left heel, set the left knee, and circle with the left hand. So you're reaching, it's hand is circling up and out. So there's extending and pivot on your right heel. So, so feel into this. So you're sinking into the left, spiraling down to the right. So you're using your, your yao to turn to the right, your right. Elbow comes back. Your arms are very heavy, very relaxed. Your feet are sticky to the floor. And then you feel the left, the right heel, set the right knee, and oh, spiraling down to the right, and step up with your left foot. And step out. So your weight is still in your right leg now. Your left hand is reaching out. Your right hand is pulling back. So we got a, we have, you're pulling back a rubber band there or, or a bowstring. So there's energy that's getting created between your left hand and your right. Very soft, very relaxed. So all this is happening at a, at a highly internal level, feeling that chi. And then you feel the heel of the left foot. You set the left knee and use your yao to turn to the, turn your body to the right. You're sinking, you're opening that left claw, and then use your yao to turn to the left. And as you do that, the uh, left, the right fist comes out, punches the left hand, is touching the forearm. And just relax into that. Feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, and spiral down to the left. And as you do that, the left hand circles up, just like the other moves, reaches out. And the right hand this time opens and makes a vertical circle. As you turn, your yao turns your body to the right, circles down. And comes around, pivot on your left heel. So your weight is still in your right leg. That's still your substantial leg. And you feel that, this, the energy, feel it down. Feel that, that yin quality there. We're emphasizing that today. Feel that, that metal chi. Now feel the heel of the left foot. Push your left knee out and set that, and release your left claw spiraling down to the left. Use your yao to turn your body, come forward with your right foot. Turn, you're sunk into that left claw, that left leg, everything dropping down, really feeling the heaviness of that. You're gathering the yin is gathering to allow for a young expression. But today, even our young expression is going to have a predominantly yin quality to it. And we're going to step out with the right foot. Fairly narrow stance, we step out, feel that heaviness of the foot, the stickiness, feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up that right claw. Now you're opening the right claw using your yao to turn to the left. 
Your left hand is under your dantian. Both hands are on your center line. And you can see the buttons of my shirt on my center line here. So the palms of my hands are lining up there with that. And I'm loading up that right claw, right leg, sink, feeling the, the yin here. And then use my yao to turn to my right. And as I do that, I reach first with my left elbow. My right hand is, my right elbow, sorry. And uh, my right hand is, is very soft. And as I turn, use my yao to turn my body to the right. And as I do that, my right hand comes up and curves in front of my body to make a uh, ward off with the right arm. Left hand is facing the right. Left palm is facing the right palm. And feeling the heaviness of my arms. And the whole body is sinking. Feeling that, feeling that yin, that metal. Yeah, okay, so let's go back to, uh, let's just do that last one there. Stepping up and uh, with the, with the ward off with the right hand, I'll do it facing you. So when I'm, I'm going from, from, uh, uh, step up, punch, and so I'm 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 here with the the second step up and punch, and I sink into my right foot and spiral down to the right as the left hand circles up and reaches softly out. My right hand opens and turns, and this time it's circling vertically. So before we, we, we just turned it around like this for the punch, this time we're going to make a, a circle with the, the right hand, but it's pulling away from the left. So the left hand, even though my body's turning to the right, my left hand maintains its position in front as my right hand circles down. I'm my weight is in my back leg, my right leg. So I've gone here, I'm sinking, spiraling down to the right and circling. So these two hands are pulling apart here. This is that splitting energy that is characteristic in one of the things, the energy, the eight primary energies of Tai Chi Chuan. And then pivot on my left heel as my right hand comes down. I sink into my left heel, set my left knee, and release the left claw, spiraling down to the left. Use my yaw to turn to the left as I do that, and step up with the right foot, sinking into that right claw, sinking, feeling the density, the heaviness of that and step forward with my right foot. And feel the, feel the heel, set the knee and open the right claw, spiraling down to the left as I do that. Use my yaw to turn to the left, the right hand under the, the lower dantian. Left hand on the center line there, both and it's about chest height. And then use my yao to turn to the right. And that means my claw is now going to close on my right claw as I do that. And notice that I'm set my right elbow and bring that forearm up in front of my body as I do that. So notice that the I'm not moving from the shoulder. I'm setting that elbow and all the actions happening here. The left hand is just following the turn of my body. Now I have this 
I have a little bit of space between the uh, between my hands, a few inches, you know, maybe five or six inches between the palms. There's my back leg. I want it to be almost straight. My front knee is, I'm not doing that. I'm not pushing my knee forward. It's almost vertical. And I feel, feel that so that, that even though everything is going very yin, there is this pong jin, this up and out energy it is filling the form that I have here, this filling this ward off form. There is an expansive energy, even though most of my action is happening in a, uh, in a, in a very yin way, right? so everything else is going down. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just go from here and, and nice and easy go through that once more and then we'll, we'll call it a day here. So spiral down to the left, right fist comes up, step in, sticky and strike with back fist, left hand circles up, turn and punch, turn and punch. Pivot on your left heel, left hand comes down, floats up, right hand floats down, step in, and step, heel, knee, and strike with back fist. Take it your left and circle, turn, step up. The left foot and punch. Take it your right foot, left hand circles up, right hand circles to the side vertically. Pivot on your left heel. Sink down, 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 step up and ward off with the right arm. Pause and feel into that. Reach with your elbows, open your shoulder joints. Feel your wrists, feel your fingers. And uh, feel yourself sinking down, down, down. Sink in your left heel. Hands come down. And just step in with your left foot. And take a deep breath. And ah, sink. Feel the yin. Embrace the yin. It is your buddy. Great. Please have a seat. How'd that go? Good, 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 good. Okay. Anything to uh, share with the folks at home? Lynn? Well, I really found that doing the yin first, I mean, I was looking at the monitor, looking at you, but I was also looking at my other monitor, which is kind of messy. And I'm thinking, oh, I need to really clean that up. Uh, when we started and then the yin just really took me down and grounded me so that the rest of the set, I just had a lot of, lot of chi nicely going. So despite the things that were still sitting there, I was able to ground you. <laughs> so that was great. Great. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Valerie. Yes. Very, 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 very yin. Almost don't want to talk. So yin. <laughs>
Peter. Yeah, you know, I, I'm tired at night, so I just was auditing, sitting in my chair or standing. I actually followed, did a little bit, but mostly I was sitting and following just with my mind. The wild thing was that I really felt a lot of the energetic qualities in my body that you were, I don't know how that happens, um, a kind of transmission I get, but but yeah. it was inter interesting. Right, right. Yeah, that's something that you don't have to be moving to to do this. Once you know we get into this internal aspect, it becomes just something that you can turn on and off um, at will. But that takes you know takes some familiarity with it in order to it become a uh, you know so deeply embodied that you can do that. Does that mean that the that the uh, the physical movements are kind of a way of getting a handle on the internal circulation of en energies and their qualities? I think that's eloquently stated. Exactly. Yes, I believe that would be to be the case here. So we, you know, my my whole thing is start big and make it smaller, 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 till you can do it from your barca lounger. And uh, you know, then you're uh, you're able to to con you're able to feel the energy sufficiently that you don't require a lot of movement to uh, to manifest them. Scott, we've kind of talked about this before, but there's a lot of times people have this feeling that yin is less. You know, and it's like you think, well, oh, it's just wet noodle kind of, oh, I'm just yin. But I'm here to tell you that that was, maybe it was yin, but there was a hell of a lot of energy there. Right. And, you know, I was trying to say before, like yin is form. So, you know, it's solid. So it, uh, you know, as we compress into form, as we condense, you know, contract into form, we become more yin. And, uh but as you said, there's all this insubstantial stuff going on that, you know, is, uh, is very profound. Richard. I, I was just going to say it's, it's the yin that's pulling everything into the black hole. So think mm -hmm. of that as the power of yin. Right. That's right. That's, a, that's like maximum yin there. You get, you know, You're reading my mind, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 you know the, where everything is so condensed in the black hole that you know even light can't escape. So yes, cool. Anybody else? Okay. Well, uh, thank you all so much. It's been very good. So um, um, you know, Scott mentioned before, like. Sometimes it looks like the uh, the form looks a little different from week to week, from time to time, and and that is the case. That's intentional, um, you know. Depending on what we're emphasizing, you know, sometimes I'm going to do it very precise and very detailed, so that you can see exactly what what's going on, very graphically displayed. And then other times it's just going to be like a, a very gentle, quiet movement and the as you become more and more familiar with it, you it requires less and less overt uh, expression in order to get you know to get the energy going. Is what Peter was saying, you know, before. He was like, you know, it's like, oh, if as we get familiar with this, we need less and less to make it to make it happen. Isn't it also which quality of energy you're working with that'll make the form look a little different? Absolutely, yes. Thank you for that. Yes. Oh, so, so yes. Good. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thanks to the thanks to the producer. <laughs>